I'm Betty Henning, an appraiser for the American Dairy Goat Association's Linear Appraisal Program. This video is a collaborative effort of the American Dairy Goat Association, University of California Davis Department of Animal Science, and the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. Body condition is a term used to indicate the body reserves present in an individual animal. An animal's body condition indicates the amount of lipid, fat, and protein or muscle reserves that are available for maintenance, gestation, and production. Body condition scoring is a tool that can be used to systematically assess the degree of fleshing, that is the subcutaneous fat stores and muscle mass present in the goat. Body condition scoring is an important tool that can be used for livestock managers to optimize the production, feeding program, and welfare of the animals in their care. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to assess a dairy goat's body condition using a five-point body condition scoring system. The objective of the dairy goat body condition scoring system is to make a few simple observations which can be used to assign an overall rating or score that reflects the degree of muscling and fat reserves. The scores range from one to five, reflecting a range of body conditions from extreme depletion of muscle mass at a score of one to extreme accumulation of body fat overlying muscle mass at a score of five. The ideal body condition score will vary depending on the doe's body type, level of production, stage of lactation, as well as management conditions. Extremely low scores of two or below indicate insufficient reserves to sustain a high level of production or gestation. On the other hand, extremely high scores, approaching or equal to five, may increase the risk of pregnancy toxemia and other metabolic disease, as well as difficulty kidding. While nutrition is the major factor affecting an animal's body condition score, other management, health, and physiologic factors may play a role in extremely low or high body condition scores. Low body condition often results from inadequate nutrition, but may also result from conditions of advancing age or from chronic disease conditions. Some of the diseases that may affect body condition include dental problems, parasites, cancerous conditions, or infections causing chronic wasting. High body condition often reflects dietary excess, but may also be found in animals in extended lactations or those which have had extended dry periods. An individual dairy goat's body condition changes with level of milk production and stage of lactation. A doe's body condition is expected to change by approximately one body condition score during the course of her lactation. Body condition score drops to its minimum during peak lactation and rebounds to its maximum by the end of the lactation, remaining stable throughout the dry period. Dairy goat body condition scoring is best applied to assess changes in individual animals over a production cycle and to monitor groups of animals in order to detect patterns of change. These group values and their trends can then be used to adjust the diet and other management strategies to best meet the nutritional needs and support optimal performance of the individual animal as well as the entire dairy goat herd. To assess a dairy goat's body condition, observations are made in two primary areas. The shoulder region and the region of the loin and rump. These points are intended to be observed. However, you may need to feel or palpate these areas if the hair coat is extremely long in order to verify your observations. A third area, the tail and tail head region, is used as a secondary site to further assess goats scoring at the low and high ends of the scoring range.
Site one is the shoulder region. From the side view, observe the shoulder region. This site includes the neck, brisket, point of shoulder, and the ribs above the point of elbow. Stand about six to eight feet away from the dough to observe the three sites used to assess the shoulder region. The first point in the shoulder region is the shape of the neck as viewed from the underline in side profile as it extends through the shoulder region and into the brisket. The second point in the shoulder region looks at the degree of flushing where the neck meets the shoulder blade from the withers to the point of shoulder. Observe the fullness and degree of fill in this area. The third point in the shoulder region looks at the degree of flushing over the ribs above the point of elbow. It is important that this observation is made above the point of elbow to avoid sites of vaccination reaction which may distort this observation. For this doe, the underline of her neck is smooth with some accumulation of flesh at the brisket. Her neck is smoothly blended by the presence of fleshing over line the neck, shoulder, and ribs. Above the point of elbow, her ribs are palpable, but not visible. Next from the top view, we observe the loin and rump region. This region includes the loin, rump, hips, and pin bones. In the loin, observe the degree of muscle and fat covering the loin area, as indicated by the prominence of the transverse and dorsal processes of the lumbar spine. Very good. In the evaluation of the rump, Observe the degree of fill created by muscle and fat at the hip, thurl, pin, and dorsal processes of the rump. Note the degree of contouring observed over the hips and pin bone. For this doe in the rump, her hips and pins are rounded and smooth by the presence of overlying tissue. Additional muscle and fat smooth the overall contour of the rump, making it appear well-filled. In the loin, the transverse and dorsal processes are not prominent, and her loin appears level from side to side. Site three is a secondary site, including the tail and the tail head. This site is used to further assess body condition scores of two and below and scores approaching a five. For scores of two and below, palpate the tail with your thumb on the top and fingers underneath, feeling at the base of the tail for the amount of flesh surrounding the bone and the elasticity of the skin. For scores approaching five, observe the base of the tail for the amount of fleshing visible above the tailbone at the base of the tail. For this doe, the secondary trait would not be used. The photos of this son and doe illustrate the body condition score one. In this doe, a chronic disease condition resulted in her poor body condition. From the side view, note that the underline of her neck is extremely thin and clearly demarcated, extending into a brisket lacking any apparent muscle or fat cover, with the bone clearly visible. In the region of the junction of the neck and shoulder, she has severe depletion of muscle mass, and the spine of her scapula is clearly visible. Her ribs are clearly visible through the area above the point of elbow. From the top view, the bony contours of the hip and pin bones are very prominent. Note that her lack of flushing in the rump makes the dorsal process clearly evident. In the loin, her lack of musculature 
makes the transverse and dorsal spinous processes extremely prominent. If we were able to palpate her tail and tail head, there would be little, if any, flesh around the tailbone. Her skin under the base of the tail would lack elasticity, indicating an absence of subcutaneous fat and tissue. This nine-year-old Toggenberg Doe demonstrates the body condition score too. Her advancing age and peak lactation status likely contribute to her lean body condition. From the side view, the underline of her neck is extremely lean, long, and clearly demarcated, extending into a brisket with slight amount of muscling or covering. A minor degree of muscling is observed at the base of her neck and shoulder. Her ribs are clearly defined above the point of elbow. A minor degree of subcutaneous tissue covers the neck shoulder junction and ribs above the point of elbow. And the underlying skeletal structure is clearly visible without palpation. From the top view in her rump, the bony contours of the hip and pin bones are easily observed. Note that the sharply demarcated features of the hip and pin bones are observable because there is minimal subcutaneous tissue in this area. Minimal musculature is easily observed in her rump region due to a lack of fat cover. In the loin, the lack of musculature makes the transverse and dorsal spinous processes clearly prominent. On this doe, there is minimal muscle mass in the loin where the transverse and dorsal processes come together. The secondary site of tail and tail head is used at the score of two. I'm placing my thumb on the top of her tail and my fingers underneath to feel for the amount of flesh surrounding the bone at the base of the tail, as well as the elasticity of the skin at the base of the tail. In this doe, although her tail has minimal muscling, there is some substance at the base of the tail, and the skin is elastic and freely movable, indicating the presence of subcutaneous muscle and fat. This La Mancha milking doe illustrates the body condition score three. From the side view, the underline of this doe's neck is moderately lean and long, showing demarcation and blending smoothly into shoulder and brisket. Her ribs have a modest degree of fleshing, but are still visible. From the top view, note that her hips and pins are clearly visible, but the bony contours are less well defined due to the presence of subcutaneous tissue. Moderate muscling in her rump make the dorsal process less visible. In the loin, additional musculature makes her dorsal spinous process less prominent, although the contours of the transverse and dorsal processes are clearly visible. The secondary site of tail and tail head is not used at the score of three. This son and lactating doe illustrates the body condition score four. She is nine months into her lactation. From the side view, the underline of her neck is smooth with some accumulation of flesh at the brisket. Her neck is smoothly blended by the presence of fleshing overlying the neck, shoulder, and ribs. Above the point of elbow, her ribs are palpable, but no longer visible. From the top view, in the rump, her hips and pins are rounded and smooth by the presence of overlying tissue. Additional muscle and fat smooth the overall contour of the rump, making it appear 
well filled. The transverse and dorsal processes are not prominent and her loin appears level from side to side. The secondary site of tail and tail head is not used at the score of four. This son and doe, while not to the extreme of a body condition score five, demonstrates several features that approach a five in body condition score, which is at the upper end of the scale. From the side view, the underline of her neck appears shortened by the prominence of flesh extending up from the brisket. Fleshing bulges at the junction of the neck and shoulder. There is an extreme accumulation of fleshing over the ribs, above the point of elbow and beyond. While this doe has prominent fleshing in the rump, for animals at the body condition of score five, the excessive flesh covering of the rump would protrude above the skeletal framework. In the loin, she demonstrates significant lack of the definition of the transverse and dorsal processes. But she does fall short of the complete lack of definition and the bulging appearance to the loin that would be found in a goat with a body condition score of five. The secondary site of tail and tail head is used at the score of five. I will observe the amount of fleshing above the tailbone at the base of the tail. In this doe, the amount of fleshing in the tail does not protrude above the level of the bone. We have categorized our dairy does to the whole number body condition score that most closely reflects their body condition half and quarter point scores may be used to further refine this scoring scheme. In general, scores below 2.5 reflect loss of muscle mass in addition to depletion of subcutaneous fat. Scores above 2.5 reflect restoration of subcutaneous fat and at higher scores accumulation of fat deposits in the tissue overlying the muscles. It is important to remember that this scoring scheme is a tool to assess changes in body condition over time in individual goats or in groups of goats. Ideal values will depend on the goat's level of production, stage of lactation, management conditions, and body type. Owners would be advised to consult their nutritionist and veterinarian regarding animals or groups of animals scoring in the extreme ranges, low or high, to identify factors which may be contributing to these extreme values. Monitoring of body condition scores is an important individual and herd management tool that livestock managers can use to optimize the production feeding program and welfare of the dairy goats in their care.